Hello everyone! Today I'm going to go over the Sky Scale Saddle Materials as part of a new friend collection. Heads up, you will need 29 Provisioner Tokens, 375 Pinches of Stardust, 375 Static Charges, and 500 Essence of Despair. So let's go over how to get those. For the Provisioner Tokens, you can speak with a Faction Provisioner. So within the Horn of Maguma, which is our new Soto Maps, you'll pretty much find a Faction Provisioner Merchant next to most of the waypoints, or fairly close by. You can trade in materials for tokens, and for some merchants, it's only one trade a day. In the Wizard Tower, for a pricier trade, you can do more than one. You can also go to all the faction provisioners within the map and other maps. There's quite a few, so I'll link the wiki with a list of all the merchants below. Also, you seem to be able to get these from challenge mode raids. However, that isn't something that I've touched on, so that's just what I'm hearing. For Pinches of Stardust, they are earned by doing achievements and events in Omnitas. I've even gotten a few getting sky scale orbs around the map. Static charges are earned from doing events in Skywatch, and you can also get them from the Skyscale orbs as well. And last, the Essence of Despair is earned by doing Rifts. So just a side note, you're going to want to track down Tier 1 Rifts, as Essence of Despair drops in both the pre-boss event and for the actual boss as well. Now, any tier riff will drop Essence of Despair in the pre-boss event. For the boss events, tier 2 doesn't drop Essence of Despair, it drops Essence of Greed, and a tier 3 would drop Essence of Triumph. Also, you'll get more drops if you have the riff Mastery trained. So the rest of this guide should be rather quick, but here are the locations to purchase what you need where. For Stardust Infused Leather, we are in the Bastion of the Natural and purchasing it from the Faction Provisioner for 3 Provisioner Tokens and 125 Pinches of Stardust. For the Mist Infused Saddle Oil, we are at the Bastion of the Obscure Waypoint and it's going to cost you 3 Provisioner Tokens and again 125 Pinches of Stardust. For our Jade Spun Silk Thread, we are in the Kestrel's Vow Waypoint. Again, three Provisioner Tokens, and this time 125 Static Charges. For the Durable Saddle Hardware, we are at the Bastion of Strength Waypoint. Three Provisioner Tokens and 125 Essence of Despair. Our rich Meguman Mahogany is at the Radanovis Promenade Waypoint for three Provisioner Tokens and 125 Essence of Despair. For our Saddlebag of Holding, we are in the Bastion of Balance Waypoint, and it's going to cost you three Provisioner Tokens and 125 Pinches of Stardust. Our Deltramore Rivets is at the Drakmar's Light Waypoint, and it costs 3 Provisioner Tokens and 125 Static Charges. The Garenhof Weave Cloth is at the Beacon of Ages Waypoint in the Wizard's Ascent. For 3 Provisioner Tokens and 125 Essence of Despair. Our Elonian Sandpaper is at the Astral Ward Encampment Waypoint in the Sky Ward Marches for two Provisioner Tokens and 125 Static Charges. And then our Extra Sticky Tar is at the Bastion of Knowledge Waypoint for three Provisioner Tokens and 125 Essence of Despair. The next requirement after the Skyscale Saddle Materials is to train up Rising Spirits. It is under the Flight Training Mastery, and it is the very last one. And then, of course, when we are done, we are going to talk to Skyscale Trainer Diane and turn it all in. 
thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that was helpful. And I don't know, maybe see you around. The DX Racer Craft Series Guild Wars 2 Edition. Gorgeous artwork front and back, plush memory foam headrest, and plenty of adjustments, including lumbar support. Use code TIFFY for 5% off or my link in the video description below.